Hi, this is Cynthia Thomas. I'm a networking specialist at Google Cloud. Welcome back to What's New in Networking. Today, we'll focus on edge and security related launches. Stay tuned. First, let's talk about Cloud Armor Managed Protection Plus. This is a service that packages DDoS protection, Cloud Armor WAF functionality, and future protection capabilities into an enterprise friendly subscription. Managed Protection aims to simplify Cloud Armor deployments, reduce management overhead, and minimize financial risk. Cloud Armor Managed Protection Plus subscribers will also have access to additional value add services, including adaptive protection, named IP lists, and other future services. Well, the future is now, and we have some exciting additions to Cloud Armor Managed Protection Plus. Introducing DDoS Response and Build Protection Services. With DDoS Response, customers can get help with analyzing and mitigating ongoing DDoS attacks. Customers with premium support have the opportunity to engage DDoS Response Services and get access to SRE and engineering teams that are responsible for DOS protection for all of Google. Customers who suffered from a DDoS attack may see an increase in their infrastructure bill. With bill protection on the covered resources, you can now open a claim with billing support and receive credits for the amount of the spike, provided that the attack was sufficiently large. Now onto more security launches. Until now, you couldn't deploy firewall rules at an organization or folder level. Now you can with hierarchical firewall policies. With hierarchical firewall policies, security admins can define and enforce firewall rules at the organization and folder levels in the GCP resource hierarchy. Firewall policies make rules management easier. Policies contain multiple firewall rules that are attachable to an organization or folder. Hierarchical firewalls enable automatic protection for new projects and networks. It also allows flexible firewall configurations required for complex cloud environments. Next is a super exciting feature that just went GA, secure data exchange for VPC service controls. VPC service controls is a key differentiator for GCP and works to prevent data exfiltration. With secure data exchange, you now have more fine-grained controls on the data exchanged, down to the method and organization level. For example, you can enable your partners to have read-only access to a GCS bucket from a different organization. Finally, we're excited to announce the general availability of request coalescing, often known as collapsing for Cloud CDN. Request coalescing collapses multiple user-driven cache fill requests for the same cache key into a single origin request per edge node. We have already been applying this behavior on chunk requests since last year, but now this is the default for all request types. Request coalescing is now the default behavior for all new and existing Cloud CDN customers benefiting from a reduced load on the origin. And that's what's new in networking for edge and security. Let us know your thoughts on these new features in the comments below. Check out the links for more info on how to use them and join us next time to learn more about what's new in networking.